Essendon has slammed a paid TV interview with former fitness coach Dean Robinson after he unleashed on the club's controversial supplements program, further implicating coach James Hurd in the doping scandal. Dubbed the weapon, Robinson told Channel 7 Hurd is untouchable at the club and that the Bombers hierarchy was prepared to push players to the edge. They knew what was going on. This wasn't closed door secret meetings, policies, the rest of it. This was, it was open. No one was hiding anything because we didn't think we were doing anything wrong. So they knew from the top of the club all the way through. Essendon says it's seeking legal advice following the interview while Robinson is planning to sue the club after he was stood down when the crisis broke on in February. It follows a day of explosive allegations at the Saints. A dramatic and unexpected shift of footy's drug saga from Windy Hill to Saints HQ. Forward Ahmed Saad caught up after returning a positive test. Ahmed is surprised and extremely disappointed to find himself in this position after returning a positive sample to a substance alleged to be on the prohibited list in the AFL anti-doping code. Saad inadvertently took the banned substance, reportedly a supplement not ticked off by the team doctor. The product suspected is permitted for use out of competition, but is not allowed to be used in competition. Having blitzed the VFL ranks, Ahmed Saad was snapped up by the Saints in the 2011 trade period. The 23-year-old is not only highly regarded at club level, but also within the AFL hierarchy. He's among the league's multicultural ambassadors. We've got one more game, we can win that, and after that we can go enjoy a night out bowling or something. Saad hasn't played at senior level since St Kilda's round 15 loss to Fremantle. Bounces obligingly, shoots. And he's redeemed himself, he's put a throw. The club is bound by confidentiality under the AFL anti-doping code and as a consequence cannot make any further comment at this time. Meanwhile, three of the league's biggest clubs have rubbish claims linking them to Essendon's supplement saga. West Coast, Hawthorne and Collingwood were all named in alleged text messages between James Hurd and Stephen Dank. On the Eagles, Hurd is reported to have written, they're definitely up to something to which Dank is said to have replied, they're another level of athleticism within this competition. They are the team to chase. I need to reinvent a couple of things to chase these guys. Let's get this straight. That's just two people talking to each other who have, as far as I know, um, no employment here at West Coast. They don't have any role within our footy club.